The importance of Blossom Point when you talk about the mission of the Naval Research Lab or to the United States Navy, the fleets at sea and the, and the folks on uh, in the Marine Corps and what they are doing, uh, it, it goes across many, many different areas. Um, if we start just at the local level for the Naval Research Lab, this site was designed because the Naval Research Lab was right there at the forefront of the space age in the 1950s, developing new rocket technology, developing new satellite technology, and figuring out that there are things you can do from space that you can't do terrestrially. In order to do that, though, you have to be able to have a place on the ground to either receive a signal, to send a command. So Blossom Point was built at that point in 1956 to do that for the Vanguard program. So how does Blossom Point operations help the fleet? Well, we are kind of the man behind the curtain. So, for instance, we do command and control for WinSat, which is a weather satellite used by the Navy for navigational purposes. But we don't pass that weather information directly to the fleet. What we do instead is we're making sure that the satellite is healthy and staying on orbit and in mission. So the fleet doesn't see us here, but really we're behind them the whole time, supporting things that they need without them having any direct visibility into our existence. Currently, Blossom Point operates as a lights out automated facility, um, which basically means that we don't have humans here on site 24 seven, like a traditional satellite command and control facility would. We have got the kind of automation that if I need to interact with my satellite at any point in time, I can step in, pause my automation, sit down on my console and begin to command my satellite. All of those technologies and all of those things that soldiers and sailors and airmen and Marines have become dependent upon, so much of those capabilities are provided through space. So being able to be part of a laboratory that is developing the next set of technology that allows you again to operate in a contested, congested, a domain that is not as peaceful as it once was when you look at space, we are at the forefront of all that and making sure um, that the folks that are on the ground that need to either be supported from space with terrestrial effects or need to know that their space effects can withstand other space effects, whether they be man-made or natural, we're a part of that, and we are there to make sure that the guys out in the field are getting what they need. We are tracking a multitude of satellites in different orbits here. Um, we've got WinSat Coriolis, which actually is built by NRL, and it collects uh, the wind speed of the ocean. Um, we actually give that data out to naval vessels as well as a multitude of other partners. As the Naval Research Laboratory develops new technology that's going to be utilized in space, whether that be an entire satellite or one particular uh, payload or a different type of science that can be done, having a place on the ground where they can know they have a dedicated station that will fly that satellite, do the command and control, take the data off of it, give it back to the folks who developed it, that's you know that first level of why we are part of the Naval Research Laboratory.